It's the unbelievable conclusion of Burger Kitchen. What the fuck is that, dude? Will Chef Ramsay be able to convince Daniel to stay in the business? It's a disaster. Will the family be able to resolve their differences? No, no, enough! You don't want to miss what happens you when new shocking issues are revealed. You're fucking killing me! It's intense, it's outrageous, and it's the biggest challenge Chef Ramsay has faced all year. <laughs> don't cry! That's tonight on a special edition of Kitchen Nightmares. Danny, no, shut up! Shut up! What is that? Disgusting crap. You're done! I'm done! I'm not I'm done! I'm done. Shut the place down. Get out of here. That is amazing. Thank you, I just can't thank you enough. I can't do this. I'm sorry. It's not fair, buddy. It's not fair. Yeah. This is the first thing that asked for. Danny, could be you put more, buddy. Yeah, what the fuck is that, man? Are they treating this like a game? Is this like a game to them? It's like, let's see if we can get them to crack tonight. <laughs> I just want to laugh and I want to cry. That's just insane, you know? Listen, I see what you're going through. I understand fully now, OK? It's a disaster. Yeah. I've never seen such a fragmented business. My god. And the chef's like that. They even friends to beat me up. I want to take that shit, man. It's ridiculous. I just, I just finally cracked. I didn't think this would happen. When he's been warning me that it's all just being bottled up and you're just gonna have a breakdown. Here's the sad news. None of this is your fault. And yet you seem to be the only one taking responsibility. <sighs> Mum and dad are dreaming, you know that. I know, I know. You're feeding their dreams and getting yourself further and further in the shit. And you finally realize what's happening. So you've now got to take the reins. You've got no choice now. You have got to stand up on your own two feet and not tolerate this shit. I don't want to cry. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I've got your back, because I can see what it means to you. Thank you. That's all I can say. Thank you. But you're the only reason I'm staying here, I'm telling you. Thank you. Do you know why? Thank you. Because you're sincere. You actually can pretty much have a pretty big heart. You do. Thank you. Thank you for this. You know, I've never had someone actually, like, help, you know? Thank you. Hang on in there, OK? What? After witnessing one of the most dysfunctional restaurants he has ever seen. Good morning. Come in, come in. Please take a seat. Chef Ramsay knows it's time for a not so subtle wake up call. First of all, I wanted to get you out of the restaurant. That was important. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and what better way to do that than bring you to an amazing little theatre and a little show? We all like a show, right? <laughs> Believe me, this is quite a show. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the Yelpers. Good morning. Wow, there's a lot of Yelpers. Chef Ramsay had the absolute nerve to reach out to Yelpers. They are deliberately attacking my restaurant. Wow, these are the actual Yelpers. Every Yelper lies. They hurt and damage restaurants by doing this. OK, Alan, listen carefully. You were 100% convinced that those negative reviews were part of a conspiracy. Is there a plot against you from Yelp to close this business? No question in my mind. Alan, there's someone I'd like you to meet. This lady is the community manager for Yelp, Katie Burbank. Hi. Alan, I know that you're very frustrated, but they're all real. We're all real. All of our reviews mean something. It's feedback for you to use however you'd like. Hi. Um, I am a big rooter for you guys. I am. And I wanted to love your burger so bad. Like, I love burgers. <laughs> and I didn't. We came in expecting to spend $26 on an amazing burger. It uh, wasn't amazing. I was expecting an explosion of flavor, but I pretty much didn't taste anything. What I got in the burger was an extremely unflavorful, huge piece of meat that had the consistency of a nasty loaf of meatloaf. I absolutely detest what's served at your restaurant. 
I'm not like an avid Yelper. In fact, I created the account just to comment on your place because that burger was so disappointing. In the end, it was a big poo smear of a horrible experience. I too signed up for Yelp just to write a review and it was the one and only Yelp review we have ever written. Interesting that customers are purposely opening accounts to post a comment. Wrote a review, I received a response from you that basically told me I didn't know what I was talking about and it was essentially my fault that I had a bad review. I wrote my review on Yelp only to be met with sort of a barrage of emails from you. And you told me that you thought we were good competition and you told me that you thought we were out to get you. At one point you threatened to turn us over to the hate crime division of the LAPD. Instead of saying, sorry, come back in, I will make it better, it was kind of an attack. And to me, it felt like maybe this place is hopeless because they're not taking the criticism. Like, is this place doomed? Um, Jen, am I keeping you up, darling? Would you like a blanket? I was angry at my mom for falling asleep. I don't know what she was trying to pull there. We've been here 10 minutes, and I'd like you to look good. But to watch you sit there and snore, I think is the height of bad manners. I was incredibly frustrated. I thought, this is not going to work. Unbelievable. I mean, unbelievable. They're customers. No, 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 no. You're missing my point completely. This is what's driving me nuts. Every single one of these people here, everyone, you, 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 enough, you, enough, everything. Enough, enough, enough. This is ridiculous. Program. You have to stop caring about Yelp. He's trying to get you off of this shit, man. You're well, missing be, my no, point. No, I'm not missing the point. You are so obsessed with this becoming five stars, four stars. No. It's an arbitrary number, man. You're concerned about this so much, and these people are actually honest, and they told you that they have a terrible Danny. fucking time. Danny. Danny. This is yeah. ridiculous. No. You make excuses. Danny. I don't Danny. care about Yelp. Danny. I only care about Danny. food. Delivery okay. No, no, enough. Jeff Ramsey gathered Yelpers to prove to the family and to the staff the real damage they have caused to the reputation. You were 100% convinced that those reviews were part of a conspiracy. And to show Alan that this is not a conspiracy. No, 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 you're missing my point. Enough, 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 enough of this. This is ridiculous. Program? And these people are actually honest. They told you that they have a terrible fucking time. I don't Danny, appreciate this. This is ridiculous. Yeah. You make excuses. Danny, I don't Danny, care about Danny, Danny, I don't care about Danny. food. Okay. No. No, enough! I'm afraid to talk now, especially the other way my son blasted me. Alan, he didn't blast you. He just told you that you're worrying about the wrong things. OK, there's someone I'd like you to meet. The owner and the executive chef of the foundry on Melrose. Eric, good morning, sir. Eric's going to give a little insight to how he deals with Yelp. You know, one of the things that I think you always have to be very careful of when it comes to Yelp is you can't look at these and take them as personal attacks and, and try to adjust them. But at the end of the day, it's not personal. If it was personal, they'd come up and tell it to your face. You know, I get one star reviews, I get five star reviews, I get the whole board. You know, even my, my grilled cheese sandwich, everybody says it's the best sandwich around. People, I have Yelp reviews to say it's the worst sandwich I've ever had. And what do I do? Do I change the grilled cheese? No. But if 18 people tell me my burger is under seasoned, 18 of them are telling me that there's got to be a problem, and it's worth looking at. And like he said, if there's 18 complaints about one particular item, trust me, we've got it wrong. So we move, and we change course. We take Yelp as an advantage to reposition ourselves, and we listen to a consensus. That's what we do. The only thing I ever get wrong on is I don't like unfairness. I was focused on that wrongly, and I apologize. Look, any review that you get from somebody is feedback. And if you're too obsessed about why they're saying it and not what they're saying, you're going to find yourself in trouble. Thank you. Chef Ramsay, maybe I'm obsessed and I'm wrong. I agree with you. I'll never, ever speak about this again. And I appreciate it enormously because I hope we can learn from this and improve. Hopefully, something got through to my dad, but he's stubborn. The guy has a gift of blissful ignorance, a gift. We have to get back to the restaurant, and uh, we've got a lot to do. I trust you're going to give us one more go in Burger Kitchen. And thank you for your patience this morning, giving up your day uh, to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. OK, let's go. Now that Chef Ramsay has gotten through to Alan about his so-called Yelp conspiracy. Forget it. OK. Gone, gone from my Good. mind. We're over Yelp. Yay! 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 He now moves on to a much bigger problem of the restaurant. There's something else that I need to talk to you all about. 
There is so much tension in this restaurant from this family. It is extraordinary. And the only way this business can move forward is if we clear the air. First of all, who runs the restaurant? Who's in charge of the restaurant, really? By default, it seems that I am, I don't want to be. Come on, I'm serious. He wanted full control. He wanted full control. That's the, okay. for exactly he can do what he That's wants. That's exactly what I'm saying. When is it fucking higher? Let me ask you this then. Do you not trust Daniel? I trust him 100%. Of course, Wendy believes I don't. Why don't you trust your father? What is the one big reason that you don't trust him? I don't trust you because of how you opened this restaurant. I put in 250,000. You put in 250,000. That's a total of 500,000. Dad, I never put 250,000 into this. So you didn't give permission for your father to sort of look after? No, 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 never. I want to be on the paperwork. I want evidence of how much I actually own. That's why I put it with the accountant. But it's just always the same excuse, you know? Maybe we need a new accountant. Danny is getting taken advantage of, and he's being worked his ass off, and he's not even given a chance to even, like, feel bad. Excuse me, Wendy. You don't have a right to be cruel. I'm tired of this what, shit. What, are you a rude person constantly? You get paid, he doesn't. Wait, Wendy, There's no what? cash in the cash register. Oh, what do I get paid? Name it. Gets paid. Prove it. Prove it. Go look at the books. Go look at the checkbook. Go and right get now. the checkbook right now. Yeah. I have not been paid. I repaid a loan. No, Gin gets paid. No money for my rent. And you've got 160,000 in the Dan fucking bag. Dan has paid bed. his rent with his own money. Then he would make it. How dare you lie? I haven't. I've got been off the salary already. Get the salary book. There you oh, go. Oh, Denny, Denny, he's only going to put it. When she takes her money. That sucks, man. In cash, they what? take from the cash register, and then they say they repay themselves. This is a constant thing. You are a liar. I'm not a liar. Wendy, why are you I have so to. nasty? I have to. Have you ever thought about giving him anything for the money? I haven't bought any fucking money, you idiot. Don't you dare lie wait, to me. Wait, wait. You know what? That's because you're taking it all. Stop no, attacking me. You're an outright liar. Enough. You get paid, he doesn't. You're a liar. Jeff Ramsey has called a family meeting to clear the air. Have you ever thought about giving him anything for the money? Oh, I he haven't got any fucking money, does. you idiot. But it's quickly turned into a battle between Daniel and Wendy. You know what? That's because you're taking it all. And Alan and Jen. You're an outright liar. Wait, wait, wait. Listen to yourself. This is someone I love very much, and the way you treat her is like shit. And as long as you and Dad I dislike her, as long, and Wendy, as long as you dislike them, this will never, Let's try. Ever, never. Ever, 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 ever work. Daniel, what do you want? No, seriously, what do you want? Is That's a very good question. You know, what does Daniel, Daniel want? Daniel, yeah, what, what do you, you want? want? No, seriously, what do you want? I want you guys to stop like making excuses and, and, and going back on lies and, and trying to win. You don't need to win. You, you know, you don't need to be right all the goddamn time. All you have to admit is that, you know, all you have to admit is that what you did was wrong. What you did was really, really wrong. Look, Just Danny, like Danny, three Danny. Months. No, shut up. Shut up. I live in this like depressed fucking world. You know, and all three of you on the side are just killing me, man. You're fucking killing me. You know, you really are. You really, really are. No, that's, I, no, that's, I cannot do any more. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I just want, I just, I'm asking for like a, a week, a day. I want to know what you want. I what do you want? I want you to want get along. I can't get along with her. You can't, can't get along with her. No. I can't. So for the sake of the family and the potential business, can't you just give him that? Does he not deserve that now? How do I do that? When I and I how don't do believe you, in that. Well, how do I? You're asking me how you get along. Be civilized. Don't fight and just learn to walk away. We're in a dreadful predicament. And it's festered and got so much worse. And it's so sad to see a family ripped apart with the viciousness. It is not necessary. You have to change your ways, both of you.
I got told to get back and read this. My book. You wrote a book? Yeah. Gentle Satan, but it was about my father. That's what my mother called him. I stayed up to four o'clock this morning because it's almost like I was living it live. Mm. Yeah, I was seeing a reenact of the same scenario. I mean, let me read you a few uh, extracts. He hated being called out on his behavior, especially by his son. I was caught in a tug of war between my mother and father. Does this sound familiar? Yes. He didn't listen to anyone else's opinion, and he did as he chose in his business ventures. Come on. The way you describe your father is exactly the way Daniel would describe you, and I'm sorry to tell you this, but you've got to listen. It's, it's a sequel, but it's live, and it's going on in these four walls. Yes, it is. Like father, like son. I see exactly what Chef Ramsay has brought up. I mean it. I was wrong. It's irrelevant of everything else. But I apologize to both of you. With all of my heart, I have done the wrong thing. If we can't get together, we may as well just close the door now. That's the smartest thing you've said since I've been through these doors. We need to draw a line in the sand, forgive and forget, and move forward. And that's exactly what Daniel's asked you to do. I will do my best. Forget the business. The most important thing in life is family. Now, maybe we can begin, yeah, in moving forward and focus on the restaurants, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's hard for a father to do that, to admit to a son that he made a terrible mistake, and I admitted it. I want to freeze this moment because it's the first, actually, like, time that you, three of you have actually gotten along for more than, like, you a 15 to, seconds. Listen to me, listen to me. I swear on my life I meant every last word. Every last word of what I meant. I believe it. There is no question in my mind this day should have happened long ago. After what appears to be a major breakthrough with the family, Chef Ramsay can finally turn his attention to the food. So we're going to go through and train, OK? So we know how to cook a burger, OK? Let's do a new classic burger. First of all, a nice seasoned, lightly brushed oil. And the nice, exciting thing about these burgers is freshly ground meat. 15% fat, so they're full of flavor. Something your frozen burgers were lacking. Guys, I want you guys to learn everything. I feel like I'm learning a lot watching Chef Ramsay. Medium rare, medium, and well done. He's going to take all of that information and run the restaurant as best as I can. On top, and then bang. OK, let's go. OK, ladies, take a slice and dig in. The new blend of the special burger with uh, Chef Ramsay's touch. That's very nice. It's a pretty fabulous burger. This is amazing. Wow. Is... So good. <laughs> this is amazing. Price good, too. The burger that we had was way better than our old frozen patties. That's a classic burger. We put it on the special in place of the classic tonight. But that's just the first step. We have a million more miles to walk. I know it's just a small change, but it's in the right direction. OK, classic burger. The mood is already different for tonight's dinner service. Just stay intense with the specials. Daniel is clearly inspired. Hey, Chef. OK. By Chef Ramsay. There's only one person expediting. Daniel. OK, you give an answer. Yes, Chef. Yes? Yes. It made me feel great when uh, Chef Ramsay seemed to have the confidence in me to run things. But I really, really hope that my parents step aside. Welcome to Burger Kitchen. OK, we are running a special tonight. Um, we're doing a new ground chuck steak blend burger. And then it also comes with fries. I'm going to try the special. The special, please. Two okay. of the classic specials. Yeah. OK? Order up, two specials right now. And then our regular stuff, a California yeah. and an Eiffel. So let's get those onion rings out now. Gotcha. Plate all those fries for the special right now. We got three going out. Perfect. You're about to see a fucking miracle. Took some work. Come on. Let's go. First, first classics out. They want a medium rare? Yeah. Thanks to Daniel's leadership in the kitchen, food is making its way out to the dining room. This special? 
missing. And while Chef Ramsay's special is a hit, it's a natural white cheddar. The ground beef is not very good, very bland. Items from the old menu are getting the same old complaints. Uh, the jalapenos are too spicy. No one's going to put that in their mouth. Huh? Oh, the time we serve like that. I know, but we have to embrace change now, man. Yes. We gotta change. We gotta change. Okay. Jalapeno, I'm gonna need you to drop sweet potato fries, regular fries. What hasn't been made? Because there's lots of fucking sides. Oh my god. We have no organization, no system. Everything just became a clusterfuck again. I need a uh, one. Did you get those onion rings to table 12 ever? Hello? I hope so. I put them out. You put them yeah, out. Yeah, take the onion rings already. Uh, let me see. This system is so fucked up, dude. So two sweet, one fry. No, one sweet, two fry, one potato skin, one yes. onion ring. There we go. Let's get back on track right now. OK, onion rings, good. I need, oh, perfect. While Daniel is on his way to reorganizing the kitchen. Where's those onion rings? Onion rings on the fly, please. You just repeated exactly what I said. Alan feels the need to step in and help. Stay at your position. I am. Stay at your position. My dad keeps going back to that same old thing. Where's the? The confidence, I want to be confident. OK, we're missing onion rings for table 12. Please, Dad. He's stubborn, and he's unwilling to change. It's very infuriating. Let me stick these two burgers. For? 42. OK. Table um, 42 has been waiting for a very long time. We just sent their order out. If he continues to come back here and ask for onion rings or whatnot, I'm done. He needs feedback, but just rather than go in there, they've been waiting. How long? 24. It's just gone. It's just we've got to. Got to get in that spirit of working for each other. You know that. Okay, I understand. So going in there and dropping negatives after negatives after. Just... And, and I'm trying. I really after the no, day. I'm to, trying not. I know, but I need to try in a different way. He's your son. He's not your chef. He's your son. Servers, servers. Chef Ramsay is right. Like father, like son. Okay, everyone's doing a great job. We're getting out much faster than we were last night. And I got to stop it right now because I don't want my son to be like me and in turn pass it on to his child. With Alan taking a back seat. That's it, specials are all sold, that's all. I think we're done. Daniel pushes the last orders out. Thank you very much for coming, thank you, thank you, welcome. Let me say one thing, at least that was better than last night. Yeah, from last night, yeah. Um, was I proud of tonight? No, there's still a lot that we need to You're improve. Right. Yeah, agreed. But do you know what? That's a great position for you in there, because you're in control. And you sound and look like an owner. OK? Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Tomorrow we are saying goodbye to the past, and we are relaunching this restaurant. i got some serious work to do. Good night. I'll see you in the morning. Thank you, Chef. Good OK? Thank you. Good night, Chef. After a draining few days, Chef Ramsay's crew works through the night to transform this nondescript restaurant into a trendy L.A. hangout. Let's go. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Let's be honest, yesterday, we clearly took a big turn for the good. Today is about saying goodbye to the past and opening the door to the new chapter of the Burger Kitchen. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, wow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at that. It's unbelievable. Welcome to the new burger kitchen. So cool. Ah, let's start off with those amazing new murals on the wall. Look at them. No more ugly green walls. No more ugly green walls. <laughs> the atmosphere beforehand was so depressing. It's unbelievable. Oh <laughs> now we have pop art. They're hip, they're cool, and they're very trendy. Oh, incredible. This is unbelievable. Oh, my god. No more booths. Wow. Yes. This is incredible, Danny. Over here is a chalkboard where we can go and have some fun on there. So oh. cute. We are only as good as our last burger. Oh. <laughs> it's interactive. You can leave messages that you can recommend. Wow, 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 wow. It's unbelievable. I'm shocked. I'm, I'm just shocked. shocked. Yeah, I am. I am. I'm very. I, it just. It looks great. It, I honestly feel that this place has urban street appeal. I sound like a tool saying that, but that's the industry. You have to look hip and you have to look cool. Do you feel like you can bring your girlfriends now? Finally. Yes. Finally. <laughs> I'm like happy to work here. It no longer looks like tacky cheese ball '80s disgustingness. It looks like a trendy, cool restaurant. So, in keeping with the trendy dining room, I want to introduce you to a very cool, state-of-the-art, unique point-of-sale system. This thing 
is extraordinary. Oh, oh my God. It's provided by Zephyr Hardware and it is POS Lava. It is incredible. Ladies, you're at the table with your wireless touch screen oh, device. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, that's how you place the order. You just press it, but it comes up in front of them. And the kitchen gets the information. No more running around with the tickets, <laughs> stressing out to hell. <laughs> what in the fuck are all these tickets here? This is ridiculous. It's like a game of solitaire. I, I'm like speechless. You can swipe credit cards. Inventory can be checked out against your purchasing. You bring in the beers, it gets entered in, and you get a daily stock take. Unbelievable. You can monitor it from your wireless computer anywhere in the world. And no one in your area has this. Wow. 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 I can't thank you enough. I really can't. I can't thank you enough, man. This is... <laughs> don't cry. Come on. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. You all right? Alan, you OK? Yeah. Yeah, you sure? So fantastic. Well, I just wanted to liven the place up a little bit and bring some, some excitement in here. Get rid of that depressing green wall. Come on. Oh, it's incredible. It was nice to see at my Dow show some emotion. It was. He genuinely seemed happy. He really actually seemed happy. This is incredible. This is 100,000 times better. I just can't wait for people to walk in the door. Now that Burger Kitchen has a cool new look, Chef Ramsay has come up with a menu to match. Uh, take a menu, pass them along, please. Have a look at menu number 23, oh, everybody. It's so nice. It's a keeper. That looks great. It's small, it's dynamic, and more importantly, it is delicious. Wow. Right, here we go. Nibbles. OK, we have sweet potato fries, all-natural fries, parmesan fries, and they are hand-cut. <gasps> delicious. Next to that, we have a vodka-battered onion rings. Delicious for the table. Vodka-battered. Wow. That's a, that's a damn good idea. Wait till you taste them. Burgers. Start off with the classic America. We've got that amazing pate. 15% fat, short rib, chuck, and a 10% dry age. Just to keep you quiet. <laughs> That's good, I like not touch that recipe, let me tell you. No, it's a look, it's a great recipe. Oh, my God, if he touches it. Keep your paws off it. Oh, Put your right hand up. <laughs> I, Alan, will not change the pate. I, Alan, swear to God, I will change nothing. Lovely, excellent. Yes, yes, finally. <laughs> OK, we've got the most amazing lamb burger. Delicious, low in fat. And this one's done with a really classic tzatziki sauce. Next to that, a Western beef pate, sharp cheddar, delicious fried onion rings, and that's served with a very rich, homemade barbecue sauce. I love this. I love this. Asian persuasion, yes, Asian-style beef pate, teriyaki glaze with a delicious Asian slaw. Can we eat? I want to eat. I want to try this food. <laughs> Put your knife and forks, dive in, and enjoy. Oh, the flavors are so good. Those are freaking bomb. Those are bomb. Like out of control, good. Wow. You'd be stupid to think it's not good. It's fabulous. <laughs> oh, God, just come running here immediately. It's one of the best burgers I've ever tasted in my life. It's sensational. I will never need to change the menu again. Mm, mm, mm. Well. Clearly, Burger Kitchen now has something it never had, a sense of hope. OK, ready? The Chef Ramsay has some important news to share with the staff. Tough week. And as you all know, we've been through some major changes. And we have made a significant, a significant step in the right direction. You know that in a year and a half, this restaurant managed to sort of self-inflict its dwindling reputation. But tonight, you have a big second chance. It's not only relaunch night, but I have filled this restaurant with... It's relaunch night at the Burger Kitchen. Tonight, you have a second chance. And the pressure is already on, but Chef Ramsay has some important information to share. It's not only relaunch night, but I have filled this restaurant with serious bloggers. Coming to dine tonight, Yelp, tasting table, chow, Urban Spoon, Serious Eats LA, wow. and Blackboard Eats. This is the night you can transform this business. All or nothing. There's no rehearsal. So get real and get a grip. We are now getting together an enormous amount of critics all in one night. We deliver. We're set for life. We cannot screw up at all. Daniel. Yes. 
Anything you want to say to the team? Here's how it's going to work tonight. Dad, you're going to be behind the bar. Don't host tonight. I'll be expediting. Mom, you can host tonight. Just okay, sit down. Boss. Good luck, everybody. Let's go. Let's do this, guys. Come on, let's do this, all right? You guys ready? Make me proud. Hi, how are you? Welcome to Burger Kitchen. Thank you for coming. Brand new redesign, new menu. I'm sure you'll have a great time. California Cajun. Alrighty, how would you like it cooked? Slutty. I'm gonna do the classic American. The classic? Good Number choice. One. I can't even believe this is the same restaurant. 2011, aren't you happy? Oh. I know, right? Finally. Yeah. The new POS is fantastic. It makes me happy. It's gonna make me more positive when I see tables. Can you please stop texting? Is <laughs> it really bothering you? Uh, first order is it. Are you expedited? Yes, Good. Excellent. We have got to step up tonight. We got a juicy Lucy. Well, we need to just focus on what I told everyone to do. First order ready. ready. And if they do that, I think we'll be doing great. Vine swine. Up. Truffles. Start taking them. Come back. Just come back one by one. The kitchen is off to a fast start. It was for you. And the divine swine. And burgers are making their way out to the diners. Wow, this is so good. These things are phenomenal. I can eat those off batter. And the early reviews are promising. It's really good, yeah. There's your classic, there's your western. Come back for your sauces and come back for your pork. And even though Daniel has the kitchen running smoothly. Excuse me, Danny. What? We are missing onion rings and house pickles at the bar. OK, you heard that? Onion rings and house pickles for the bar. Alan has left his post at the bar and is back where he is not wanted. 31 brownie. Fast, how their onion rings Please are going, Please go Danny. away, Dad. Please. Please move. Daniel wanted me just behind the bar. But the bottom everything? line is you can't stop me going to mingle with the customers. How is everything out here? OK, OK? Very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm an owner. I'm not a vegetable. I was going to get you another helping. Someone said you were still hungry. <laughs> I got dessert covers. Don't worry, man. <laughs> Dad, I, I can arrange Dad, for a Dad, double burger. Dad, Dad, Dad. Yes, yes. Behind the bar, please. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Alan was bothering tables, and he gets in the way, and it's it's too much. How is the order coming for the no, bar? No, you behind the bar. Behind the bar. For this place to succeed, Alan needs to go. Are you sure, 31? There's no one at 31. Bring it back. Bring it back with me. Ice cream cookie, you got it. Danny, okay. this is for 31. There's no one at 31. There's a 31. That's 31 there with the four gentlemen. Please stay at the bar. Do you see how you mess, totally mess things up? There's no 31. That's 31. Oh. Do not to go near Thank you. I the system. Know. I didn't know it was changed. Do not to go near it. OK, fine. Just fine. stay at Julio the bar. didn't understand. Stay at the bar. We're not going to worry about it. Stay at the bar. Okay, stay at the bar. Daniel is now focused on his father instead of the kitchen. Two California medium rares. Where's Dan? 12 order. Is that coming up? 12. We don't even have a 12. And unsupervised burgers are making their way out to influential bloggers. Where's, uh, where's Daniel? Don't, don't come over here. I'm not, I, I'm no right. I have to come over to get beer. This is a huge night for us, and my dad is driving me crazy right now. If he continues to get us all off our game, then it's really, really bad. Yeah. This is too rare. This is too Yeah. Okay. Well, let me have him fix this one, then. Sorry. Yeah? What do we got? It. This is too rare. She wanted medium rare. Oh, look at this. Come on, guys. Oh. Look what you're doing to us. It's raw! Fuck! Slow down and focus! It's relaunch night at the Burger Kitchen. And while Daniel's attention is diverted to his father... Stick to the plan. Where's Dan? Food is still managing to go out. Yeah. This is too rare. Well, let me have him fix this one, then. But unfortunately, without Daniel's quality control, a burger is coming back. This is too rare. She wanted medium rare. Oh, look at this. Come on, guys. Look what you're doing to us. It's raw. Slow down Absolutely. and focus. You sure what's important is keep him behind the fucking bar? Yeah. Please go away, Dad. Please. OK, fine. Your dad's so dead set in his way. He's not doing any benefit but causing mayhem. Yeah. It's just, and it's irrelevant. When you're expediting, you're at the helm. What we did to Dad is exactly what you've got to do more of. That kind of triggered something in me. I said, you know what? Chef Ramsay is very, very talented, and he believes in me. Oh, yeah? yeah, refried okay. that classic America medium rare 43. I really have to take the reins. It's the only way the place is going to work.
I need that pork in Asian as fast as possible. Refire. Go. With Daniel back in control of the kitchen. Jalapeno for 43. I need my fries, my chips, and my fried pickles. <laughs> and his father entrenched at the bar. Orders are correctly making their way to the hungry critics. Here we go. So sorry about that. That should be how you like it now. <laughs> and the dining room is full of rave reviews. That's great. So much better. There you go, boss. OK, good. That's it for tickets, then. Bye. 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 Tonight, we took a major step forward, let me tell you that. And the Burger Kitchen is on its way. This restaurant can work, but we cannot afford to go back to our old ways. And the minute we do, we're screwed. Jen and Alan, Daniel has proven to me he has the capabilities of running this place. He's amazing. Absolutely. Thank you, chef. Let him do it. With all due respect, this is Daniel's restaurant to run. And there can only be one leader. You cannot interfere and intervene. I will not. Promise? I promise. My son has always made a good impression with people. But Chef Ramsay saw more than that, and more than even I saw, that my son could lead and run a restaurant. And I'm sorry, but this is the best advice okay. I can give you. All I want to say is this. I am thankful to you. Well, I'm grateful. For everything that's happened, because now I feel like we've got a makings of a success, yep. and I give it to my son with yep. the greatest joy. Wow. Thank you. And I know your heart's in the right place. Well, Chef Ramsay is right. I know that my son can handle it after watching him in the relaunch of our new restaurant. That was a job well done. Would you mind if I have a two minute conversation with Daniel, please? Yes, of course. Thank you very Look much. Look after yourself. Yeah, for sure. Okay. A few words of advice. Yeah, my father died at 53 get a chance to say what I needed to say and make up with him before he passed away. You may never forget what he did to you, but you have to forgive him and you have to move on. Yeah. Okay, don't forget. I won't, I won't. But forgive, okay? okay. Yes? Yes. Make sense? Absolutely, absolutely. I'll do that. I believe in you. And wow. I, I, I know, <laughs> that's, that's, I know. Wow. You can make this a success. Good luck. Okay. It felt really good. Well, it's every single emotion you would feel when someone of that caliber, you know, puts that on you and says, you can do it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Wow, this is definitely the most exhausting kitchen nightmares I've ever done. Daniel may have been dragged into the business, but right now, he's the only one who can save it. He has all the tools to make it work, just needs to be left alone to do it. 22 menus. Wow. What a week. After Chef Ramsay left. There you go, guys. Enjoy. Alan and Jen kept their promise and left the business in Daniel's hands. Danny is in charge. I am passing the rein 100% to him. Under Daniel's leadership. Marilyn, run this to 21. Jalapeno turkey, divine swine. The Burger Kitchen is generating a ton of positive buzz in the neighborhood as the go-to place for an awesome burger. This is tasty, I like the spot. Everything all made in-house. Chef Ramsay did more than anyone could ask for. He'd save in his restaurant, and he'd save the relationship I have with my family. <laughs>